Here's how you can tie the modified poacher's knot. This is a very compact, multi-purpose knot that pulls tight and grips to the object it's tied to. Now, originally, I thought this was known as a scaffold knot, but apparently the scaffold knot has three wraps. So I've already shown you actually how to tie this knot as I've been rambling on. But before we get to the modified versions of this knot, let's break down the poacher's knot. Working from one end of the paracord or rope, I'm going to bend the cord back towards the standing end. And then I'm going to make two loops around the standing end. And the first is going to pass over the second as the running end moves back towards the bite. And then it's going to pass under the two loops and then pull tight. And there we have our poacher's knot. If you pull on the standing end, it will tighten the loop. Next for this modified version, we're going to start the knot the same way, but this time we're going to make an extra loop. And now I guess we've technically made the scaffold knot as mentioned earlier. By adding an extra loop, you're adding some strength to the knot and it's less likely to slip. And finally, here is a further modified version of this knot. I actually learned this from Cord Braid here on YouTube and Instagram. For this version, I'm going to tie it in between these two shackles. The running end goes through the first smaller shackle and the end comes back towards the standing end. From here, I'm going to take the larger shackle and pass it over the smaller one so that both ends of the cord are going through the large shackle. Then I'm going to fold the small shackle down and, and line that end up with both of the other strands. Then with the standing end, the longer end that is, I'm going to start wrapping the standing end around all four cords. I'm going to do five passes. And as you can see, I have my standing end on a lacing needle to make it easier to now pass that end under and through the wraps. And from here, we can firm up the coiled section. I like to work the slack out of the coil to the left and then pull on the corresponding cord. Now we have both ends coming out of the knot from under the coils. And from here, we can trim the ends. If you want to trim the ends flush with the knot, you can melt it there. But I'm just going to leave some tails on here. So you might ask what this modified version of this knot is for, and I'm mainly seeing this as like a keychain knot or even a lanyard knot. Sometimes you might want to connect a key ring to a shackle or anything else that you can think of. So I am seeing this one as more of a decorative knot as it doesn't have the same functionality as the unmodified version. What do you think? 